And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Hotter Midlothian, and they face Mansfield Town. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Corner coming up. They take it short. How can he find someone at the far post? A disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Not messing around with that clearance. Couldn't keep it. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, good save. Clark. Well read to put an end to that attack. Mackay. The danger here as he runs at them. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Robert Snodgrass. Devlin. Snodgrass. Must be! There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, we can take another look now. It's great interplay between the two of them to start the move off. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Jordan Bowery. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. That's a lovely ball. And continues his run. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, half-time coming up shortly, and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. He has time to play it over. Snodgrass. And with that, the first half draws to a close. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half.
Away they go again. Second half is underway here. a bit annoyed to have lost the ball Quinn chance to play it in can they get in behind them well they continue their push for the equaliser but definitely not forcing it But he could run onto it here and just has to remain calm. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. 30 minutes to go then. Going well. This corner kick might help them. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Let's see about the delivery. Well, the danger is still there. Threat over for now, it seems. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Smith. Forrest. Interception to snuff out the danger. Into the final 20 minutes. Now it's with Boateng. Well, nicely cut out. Michael Smith. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Coming off the pitch. And a substitution in the offing. To be replaced by number 35, John Joe O'Toole. Smith. Now with Snodgrass. Mackay. Nicely timed tackle. Good physical play. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. The fans are driving the players on here. Surely they're going to hang on now. Ollie Clark. Davis Keeler done. Tremendous ball played through. And he might be in here. The net is staring him in the face. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball and then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well. He scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.